Yeah. I decided to, to bring this guy because of the, the... You see, when we follow what he's doing, I, and I showed you the numbers. In fact, there was an interview that was conducted by Paul Adomotri in 2021, January, when the MPP had won the election. And I know I didn't appoint ministers. So Paul was interviewing him and asked him, do you want to be president? Because your name has come up. He says, I don't want to be president. Why don't I want to be president? MPP hasn't even chosen their ministers. I mean, it's not, I'm not thinking about being president. This is January 2021. All right? Then Paul calls him back to the studio, to the same seat in January 2023, which is this mm -hmm. year, to come and talk about why he wants to be president. And that should tell you how... So a year ago, if you're mentioning, ago, people, yeah. if you're mentioning yeah. people who want to run for president, yeah. you wouldn't have mentioned That him. should tell you how rapid his rise has been. And it's funny, when you listen to some of the things he said, there was actually a video I saw in that interview where he said, just like Donald Trump built the wall, this, he was speaking at an MP before, and he says, he doesn't know why the Odor River is so polluted and that he can put boats on the water and that he will build a wall around the Odor River. <laughs> just like Donald Trump. All right, now this guy... So disruptor. Yeah, so Kennedy's interesting. So Kennedy's main entry into MPP is through the North America branch. So Honorable Afram Asiedu, a minister in Akufuado, in Akufu's time, was his mentor in the U.S., he told the story about how he got to the U.S. He was doing business mm -hmm. in the U.S., mm -hmm. right? And he was sort of, they were, they were going for these Dan Kwabuzia meetings in the 90s where he was following this Afram Estiedu guy. So he's been MPP, North America branch. He spoke about how th they met the other MPP in U UK, Canada, and all of those, and, and things like this. So his, he will tell you that his father is not a big man in MPP. So his political father is Honorable Kojo Afram Estiedu, who whose work was mostly in MPP North America. Mind you, a lot of MPP guys you see now, KT, Hammond, Asabi, a lot of these guys were working in Europe and North America before they came, right? So that's his entry. Then he, he's been in parliament for 23 years. So Bamiya, vice president for seven years, Alan, minister for seven years. This guy, MP since 2000. Think about that, 2000. He's been there. So he's been there. from Asin Dompim, Asin area, Christian, businessman, right? And... Media mogul, and using media well, populist message. Popular with the, with the, with the base. Yeah. Uh, also, also goes to media houses and speaks as though he's not part of the government. Yeah, like he can criticize the government and get away with it. Non-conformist, you know, sometimes I mean, maverick, sometimes uh, uh, unbelievable. Sometimes a bit loose. Sometimes. I, mean, I remember when Frema asked him to list his kids and he says, give me a pen. <laughs> 23. <laughs> you know, from the, he couldn't even remember some of the names. I, I was listening to one of his spokesperson on um, OKFM yesterday yeah. with Tikesia. Yeah. And the spokesperson was saying, hey, this guy is a guy who's going to be the flag bearer. He's the one who is winning. They have branded their vehicles. They are moving around yeah. the country. Wherever they go, everybody wants to hear from Kenya Japan. And he took a jab at Kwame Japan, funny enough, saying that yeah, Kwame And, and Japan, there's also a bit of Tinubu in the sense that, so Bola Tinubu has been financing the, uh, his party, right? The, I think it's called the a APC. Mm -hmm until he decides to not get into right, the race. So. so there are lots of people who, you can say the same, Kennedy has financed MPP quite a bit, and he's had people in government who you can say are his people. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, the he people who are the money who now want to come to the forefront. So we don't know whether it's Trump or Tinubu. But what's know. funny for him, though, is that when the MPs are declaring support, yesterday, Farouk Mahama says over 100 of them are supporting Baumia. We don't know how many of them are supporting. His very good friend, though, is Asin, no, not Asin, um, the Asin in the, in the Ashanti region, Katie Hammond. Yes, he has a lot of friends in Kwame, But he's his very, his very good friend, that's no, his we'll lawyer. Get there. So, so far, what we're saying is that so, Kennedy, Kennedy is rising in the polls for two reasons. He's speaking the language of foot soldiers. Mm, mm. He's talking about opportunity. And because he's a philanthropist, there are things that he, he has proved. So a lot of his interviews, he shows you what people he's helped. The other thing is that he's saying things that the others can't say. I can't say. Right? So he's, he's talking about tribal, okay, ethnic issues. He's mm -hmm. talking about religion. He's, he's basically campaigning. And he was not in the government. Yes. So, so my point is that the, the other candidates are not able to break through the veneer that he's broken through. It seems to be working for him so far. 